Hi, so recently I just finished my thoracic surgery rotation at Mass Journal, which was a wonderful rotation. And I actually got a chance to spend some time with a visiting student from Pakistan. And so I uh, got, got a chance to learn about her, her story. And what I realized was that visiting students, they'll, they'll come to Harvard or Mass General Brigham to experience different rotations. I can say that I highly recommend the, the Mass General Thoracic Surgery rotation for those who are interested in thoracic surgery or for those who, who want to see what thoracic surgery is like before they go into medicine or other fields. The, it's a great rotation. Uh, the attendings are teaching attendings. They're very supportive. It's an educational atmosphere. So definitely come to that one. Also come to the burn surgery rotation the Mass General Shriners Burn Surgery Rotation. The program director is Dr. Sheridan. He's a wonderful guy. It's a wonderful rotation, and he, he'll work with you to, to really make your experience uh, individualized. So if you want to spend some more time in the ICU, if you want to see orthopedic ER trauma for a couple days, or go and see the art and music center for burn surgery patients, you can do that. And also with you can ride with the EMS team for emergency trauma experiences and things like that. So for today, I also wanted to share with you, because I just came back from the American College of Surgeons Conference, and it was a, in Washington, D.C., and they had this talk on what I wish my program director could tell me before I started residency. And I, I thought about what are some of the things that I wish I could tell myself, because I'm in fourth year, I'm a fourth year med student now. I thought about some of the things I wish I could tell myself as a first year medical student. And I think one of them, I talked about this in the past before, but make sure, just take a couple minutes right now and do a Google search for conferences that are in your hometown. And so, for example, if you're in Washington, D.C., the American College of Surgeons was just there. And uh, if you're in San Diego, the Society of Thoracic Surgeons, their conference is coming up in January. And these, surg these conferences are all free to students and wonderful learning opportunities. You get to hear from world-famous speakers, the cutting-edge topics, and, and things that you never get to to think about um, in advance, or, or things that, that when I was in medical school, sometimes you, th you think about the nearest deadline, the step one, step two, your rotations, and your residency applications, but you don't necessarily think, well, what about five years from now, ten years from now, and I think it's really good to, to get some perspective so that you, you can get inspiration if you're jaded, and if you're not jaded and you're inspired, you can get uh, inspiration in a focused direction to help you plan and make better decisions in the future. So I would say, so for example, recently I just came back from a surgical education talk and they were talking about morbidity and mortality conferences. So as you know, the morbidity and mortality conferences, those are for, it's, it's once a week usually and surgeons talk about things that went wrong in the hospital and in patient care and what could be better improved. And so this is a tradition that's been around for many decades now and it's something surgeons are very proud of because it's an analysis, it's an examination of, of how to improve patient care and how to improve their, <clears throat> their own surgical uh, treatments and, and it's an it's a honored tradition. So, but it's a tradition as Atul Gawande had written in one of his books, his, early, his first book, it's a tradition that continually can improve upon it. There, there's room for improvement. And so in the surgical education talk, I learned that some conferences now, at some institutions, they, they try to not just talk about the case and discuss it, but they introduce articles that are related to the case. So evidence-based guidelines or, or evidence-based articles, articles that talk about the issue at hand that you saw in your hospital, but it's grounded in data and so you can apply that. So it's not just, so in the future when you're trying to prevent the tragedy that just happened, you can combine both the expert opinion at your own institution with data and evidence to allow for better decision making in the future. So that was something that it, it might sound commonsensical to you, but it doesn't happen in all institutions. And so the, it was something interesting for me to learn about. And so those are the kinds of things. So for example, if you're interested in surgical education, then you, you, you learn about this and then and you get a head start on, on things that you might want to research in the future or things that you want to pay attention to. So going to conferences, I would highly recommend that. The other thing is um, just to... What I learned was, so I got a chance to experience burn surgery, and 
through burn surgery, I got a chance to experience plastic surgery, and I had never, I had no idea what plastic surgery was about, and I found myself, I really enjoyed plastic surgery, although I'm not going into plastic surgery, but what I realized was that sometimes during your medical school rotations, you don't get to see plastic surgery, you don't get to see radiation oncology, you don't get to see interventional radiology, at least at my, at my home institution, you don't get to see those fields, and so I highly recommend if you're in first year and you have time to shadow, to go shadow those fields that you don't necessarily get to see that often. Orthopedics is another one that we don't get to see that often. And because you might fall in love with those rotations and it's much better to realize that you love those specialties before you've submitted your residency application. Um, so f I, fortunately I applied to something that I really liked and I didn't have that last minute change. but. But I, I did really find myself uh, being very impressed by plastic surgery and by the reconstruction they do for burn surgery patients. And I thought, wow, I, I can't believe I didn't, I, I was so close to not seeing this at all. And so that's the other thing I would rec recommend to myself if I had a chance to go back in time. So anyways, I hope it was kind of random, the stuff I talked about, but hope that was helpful and hope you're having a really good um, October. So, all right. Thank you.